Jake Burns, senior. I play running back and linebacker. Jake Burns, I play running back and linebacker, and I broke both my arms at the same time. Jake, what does it mean to you to be an Avon Eagle? It means a lot. I mean, I just enjoy it. It's just a fun experience, friends. Think of everything you've been through in all the years from day one when you joined this program till today. Is there anything you can take from football that you can use in everyday life that helps you? Toughness. Like, it's, it's a strict schedule, I guess, like, that I need to follow. Like, you need to follow to play. Oh, uh, yeah, discipline. It's like, it just keeps you focused. You have a goal. You just need to, like, put everything you have into it to achieve it keeps you focused on that one goal. You guys do some crazy things, like the early morning lifts, the two-a-days, the dirty dozens. Pretend I knew nothing about that. How would you describe that to me as an outsider? It's really like tough. You gotta wake up earlier than six, and, like get ready, get everything you need. You just gotta go in there and go to work as hard, as hard as you can, try to get better. How much of things like that helped you and improved you physically, mentally, and everything? It's definitely made me stronger, but it's like, mentally stronger too like i just need to be ready i know i need to get up in the morning I need to prepare for it what's it like on a friday night when you guys come out of this great locker room and you touch the rock and you go through the tunnel into that electric atmosphere and it's it's really cool like there's not a lot of places around here that like get the environment we have the energy is just different like, we go to different stadiums is not the same energy as there is here. Not as many fans. It's not the same as here. How does that feel knowing that you're one of the in one of the best supported communities around? It's it's awesome. It's just it's cool to see people show up and like support us. It's just it's just really cool. You've had some big moments on Friday nights too, scoring some touchdowns, everything, getting in there, big some big runs. What's that feel like? I mean, it's cool. You just like I made that one run, touchdown, like thirty yard touchdown. Just, I see the hole open up, it's energy, it's just a shot of adrenaline, it was awesome. You play with some pretty talented players too on both sides of the ball. If you're on the sideline, you just kick back sometimes as a fan and watch and all. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Like, there's some people making catches and like, throws that are just insane, they're crazy. Like, I've never seen them before. It's like NFL type talent, it's awesome. Your teammates have talked about some goals, beating Lake, winning conference, winning state. How attainable are all those goals? We won the conference, beat Lake. I, I think we got a good shot to win states, putting in the work, keep practicing hard, just keep be ready for whatever we face. What would that be like if you won the last game your senior year? That'd be awesome. It's like, go out on top. It'd be like, it'd be cool. Jake scored a touchdown in our last game, and I couldn't be more proud of him. A guy that really, again, when it comes to lifting weights and putting yourself in a position to make plays on Friday nights, he's a 17, 18-year-old kid who has really worked hard on his body. He's a big physical guy, helps on special teams, provides depth on offense and defense. Doesn't say much. He's a quiet guy, but I see him as a leader, more as a servant leader. And I think our young guys need examples like him to look up to. A guy who just goes about his business and does things the right way with a great attitude. That's another player on the roster that really doesn't say much, but just lets his play show, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he doesn't say a word. Everybody's going to have their own personality. like and, and so some people gravitate towards one personality more than they do another personality. But I personally can really appreciate the guys who do, are not very vocal, but they just show up and do all the right things all the time. And you can count on those guys. And you could always count on him to do the right stuff and to lead by example. And he's a guy that I have no problem with sophomores looking at him and saying, hey, do it the way he does and you'll be just fine. He's just a stud. Out off the field, he's so calm, he's so chill. Like, you'd never expect him to go out on the field and break, like, five tackles and run a touchdown. But he's just the most mellow guy you'll meet. But he's just got a great personality. It just it almost reminds me of, like, Kepner. Like, he's a little kept put to himself. You know, it doesn't matter on the field. He just turns into another monster. Very quiet. Very, very quiet. But, like, he gets the job done. He's, like, like a silent leader almost. He's quiet. But he always does things the right way, and he's always like, he always, he cares a lot about stuff. And I haven't really talked to him a lot, just on a, 
person to person base, but like I could tell he likes he cares about some stuff, and when he cares, he puts some effort into it. Cause he always kind of flew under the radar just because he wasn't like a super loud, like talkative dude. Just seeing like how strong he was from like the work he had put in. Getting to play with him on like JV last year, we called him Jake the Truth Burns. Yeah, he runs hard. He's a really hard worker. Jake Burns is one of my best friends. I love, I love that guy. Not many people know him because he's not very vocal, but if once you get him talking, he'll he'll yap your ear off. I love that guy. Very quiet, but if you get to know him get to talk to him he's actually a very like outgoing person like you just gotta get to talk get to know him and talk to him and he's actually a very friendly kid like people think he's shy but he's not he's not he's very quiet even if you know him i feel like he's quiet but he's just uh he's a really good kid knows his stuff on the field running back he's gritty he's just he's a good kid he's a quiet dude on the surface but once you get to know him he's one of the funniest people i've ever met just the things he says, sometimes they're stupid, sometimes it's an insane idea, and he just likes to have fun, and it's, he's, a lot of fun. he's a fun dude. He's really silent, right? He doesn't talk a lot, but that's also what kind of makes him him. And he's really just kind of like a silent killer, because nobody really knows how good he is until he gets in the game, and he shows you. If Hollywood made a movie about Jake Burns, who would star as Jake? Mm, I think i go with... Tom Cruise probably, she's like, he's a good actor, he looks good. Like, <laughs> it's gonna be an action movie? I, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. If you were a pizza, what toppings would be on you that best describe you? I mean, I like sausage on pizza, I like banana peppers, I don't know if a lot of people like that, green peppers, pepperoni, uh, I just like a lot of stuff. Like, You're almost going deluxe, huh? Yeah. As much as you could put on there. If you were a superhero, who would you be? I think I'd be Iron Man. He's like, he's real cool, I think. He's like, the suit, I love the suit. Recently, the Powerball jackpot was over a billion dollars. If you had that winning ticket, what would you do with it? I'd probably get like most of it to like, my parents have like always wanted a uh, house on the lake, so I'd probably buy one, that for them. I don't know, I'd say, probably save a lot of it, put some into college. I don't know, buy some more cool stuff. Like what? Probably like a cool car or something. Do you any traveling? Any shopping sprees? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd go to like, I'm gonna go to Hawaii, I think. I think that'd be cool. Do some surfing? Yeah. <laughs> like what kind of legacy you want to leave? When you remember is a good person, I guess. Tough and nice, like I'm nice to people. I hope, stuff like that.